Welcome to my channel The Colors of Mathematics. Here I am trying to make school math more interesting by using different tools and strategies. Right now I am working on a series of algebraic expressions class 8. We will be visualizing algebraic expressions using number lines. You must have seen number lines of this kind. In this number line, you can see a set of numbers. The number in the middle is 0. And you can see the numbers to the right of 0 are increasing and numbers to, to the left of 0 are decreasing. Let's take some expressions and try to visualize using number lines. The first expression that I would like to take is x. Now what is x? x is a variable. It can take any value. But to represent it on the number line, I am just going to assume that the distance uh, covered when we make a jump of x units is this. Say this much distance is x. So to represent x, we need to make a jump of one jump of x. So this represents x distance covered on the number line. We have just visualized x. Now let us visualize 4x. Just give the video a pause and think for a minute. 4x means 4 times x and 4 times x means we have to make 4 jumps of x. <laughs> This uh, is say 0. We are starting from 0 here also. We can say that we are starting from 0. So the numbers to the right of 0 are positive. Now represent another expression. It is negative 4x. Negative 4x means if this is 0 then we have to move in this direction. So, we will make 4 jumps of x in the negative direction. Is of x units left of 0. So, we say that this expression is, uh, this is the visualization for negative 4x. So distance covered is 4x but in the negative direction. Distance is always positive. So distance covered is 4x but the expression is negative 4x. Let's take some more. We represented x with one jump of x. What if we want to represent x plus so one jump of x we have already made but we need to make two more jumps of positive one so because the jumps are positive we need to move in the right direction that is the positive direction only so that means this distance covered is one another distance covered is one so total distance covered is x plus so we have visualized another expression using the number line. Now let us represent another expression which is x over 2. x over 2 means half of x and it is positive that means we have to move in the right side of 0. If this is 0 this is the x distance when we make this jump we cover a distance of x units but we need to visualize x over 2 x over 2 means half of x so we need to find out what is the half of this distance so approximately this point is the half so we need to make a jump of this much 
so here the rate jump is representing x by 2 so this is the visualization of x by 2 now let us represent negative x by 2 so now this expression again is half of x but now it is in the left side of 0 it is in the negative direction now it is time for challenge just give the video a pause and think for some time what do you understand by 3 by 2x 3 over 2x what is the meaning of this 3 over 2x means if you change it into mixed fraction it will be 1 1 and a half x that means we have 1 full x and 1 half x so we have to make a jump of 1 full x and 1 half x so let's see how we are going to do it and 3 by 2x is positive so we have to go in the positive direction that is in the towards the right of 0 if this is 0 so we will go in this direction so if this much is x this is 1x 1 full x make another x these this is 2x do you agree this is 2x but what do we want we want 1x plus half x so let's approximately take half of this x it comes out here so this is 1x and this is half x so this whole is 1 1 and a half x or 3 over 2 x okay so now let's look at that expression again we have 3 by 2 x minus 1 so minus 1 means that we have to go in the opposite direction towards the left side now we need to go in the other direction because it is negative negative one so let's assume our negative one is this much this is our negative one this much distance is representing this much because this is one jump of x then one jump of half x and then we are coming back by one unit so this 3 by over 2 x minus 1 so I hope it is clear so if you have liked this video so do subscribe my channel so that you can see other videos upcoming videos of mine where i would be explaining further topics of ncrt thanks a lot for watching my video